Have you ever sat by the phone waiting for it to ring? Well, I guess we don't sit by the phone anymore since we carry it with us wherever we go. Regardless, in anticipation of great news, we have all probably looked at the phone and mumbled, Come on, ring! When the telephone finally rang, we answered it, connecting to the individual with the good news on the other end. As we speak into a microphone, sound waves from our voice are transmitted by the telephone in the form of radio waves. Both sound waves and radio waves are analog signals. And when combined with digital signals, we begin moving data along the telephone line. We will come back to our good news in a few minutes, but first, let's define analog and digital signals, and then discuss what happens during the conversation. An analog signal is a continuous wave denoted by a sine wave and may vary in signal strength, amplitude, or frequency. The sine wave's amplitude value can be seen as the higher and lower points of the wave, while the frequency value is measured in the sine wave's physical length from left to right. There are many examples of analog signals around us. The sound from a human voice is analog because sound waves are continuous as is our own vision, because we see various shapes and colors in a continuous manner due to light waves. Even a typical kitchen clock having its hands moving continuously can be represented as an analog signal. A digital signal, a must for computer processing, is described as using binary zeros and ones, and therefore cannot take on any fractional values. As is illustrated in the graphic, the digital signal retains a uniform structure, providing a constant and consistent signal. Because of the inherent reliability of the digital signal, technology using it is rapidly replacing a large percentage of analog applications and devices. For example, the wristwatch, showing the time of day with its minute, hour, and sweeping second hands, is being replaced by the digital watch, which offers the time of day and other information using a numerical display. A typical digital signal is represented in the following image. Note the equally dispersed ones and zeros. Within a communications environment, a modem is a combination of two networking devices, a modulator and a demodulator, modem for short. These devices perform modulation and demodulation algorithms simultaneously to convert a signal from analog to digital and digital to analog, enabling data transmission to and from various computing resources.